Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. The Sound of Freedom is a, it's a movie and it is gut-wrenching, gut-wrenching. And it deals with topics that our ancestors, African-American, African ancestors, it's something that um, the world dealt with. And it is still among us and people think because there are no chains around the necks of people that it's all gone away and it's done with. But there's more slavery now than it was when it was so called legal, okay? It was there there's more there's more slavery now than when there was chattel slavery. There's more slavery now than ever and a lot of the enslaved are children okay the sound of freedom sound of freedom is uh i would <sighs> I, i'm not recommending it per se Be uh, yeah but but i recommend it i'm not recommending it but it's something that if you know if you don't have anything else to do and you want to watch something that is gut-wrenching something that is happening in the world if you want to hear something that is truthful then you hear people who come out and say this is happening and it's 90 what eight percent guys who are behind it well in the 90s the the the, the people who are behind it are male white males and it's and the ones in America, for uh, for example, um, I don't know what the percentage is in other countries, but in the United States of America, the people behind it are white males, and it is something that we must not we must not lose sight of. I know, I know, I know. People are gonna say, "Oh, those were the old time days." It, that that doesn't happen anymore. It does. It does. Okay, it does. A lot of those trailers you see on the highways and the byways, you, you don't know what is happening right in front of your faces. You, you, you cannot tell. Everything is sanitized. Everything is sanitized, but it could be in a, in a, in a storage area in the, where you live. It could be in, in an area where they prepare food and there are special areas in between the kitchen and, 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 and the other area before you get outside. There could be little pockets. in there. It's right in front of our faces. It's happening right in front of our faces. And you will say, well, why don't they run? Why don't they scream? Why don't, they, why don't you run? Why don't you scream when you're going to work? You don't run and you don't scream when you're going to work because you feel as though you have to go to work. You feel as though for you to eat and drink, you have to go to work, okay? So you don't run and you don't scream when you are walking around in your high heel shoes and you think, oh, I'm free. And you have your little bag and your lipstick on or whatever. You're thinking you're free and you're not running and screaming. And the, a lot of the people who are in this situation that would be depicted in Sound of Freedom, they don't run and scream either because... They don't think there's a way out for them. They're not thinking there's a way out for them. No one cares. The world does not care. And they get a meal every now and again. They may get some clothing, a place to sleep, you know. And, and they think that that's what life is. They think that's what life is. Just that how you think your life is what life is and should be. Okay? So, I don't know what else to say. Nothing is... As it seems, because as neatly packaged as you think your life is, you could be enslaved too. I could be enslaved too. We all could be, because I feel as I feel that whatever I see out there, whatever I'm noticing, that's me. It's happening to me. But people have a way of separating themselves from what's happening in the world. People do that very well, very well. You separate yourself from what's happening in the world. And you say, well, that's them. That's not me, it's them. But your point, when you said them, you're talking about yourself. Even your good book will say, yes, I'm there. Love your neighbor because your neighbor is yourself. Love your neighbor, do unto others because whatever you do to them 
It's you. You're doing it to yourself. You're doing it for yourself. Okay? So when you see these things happening, you are thinking, well, if not for God, that would, that could be me. It is you. It is you. Okay? You're experiencing other aspects of you throughout everything. You see everything. You touch everything. You smell. It's just you. It's just you. It's just one thing. One thing. And until you resonate with that, until you understand that whatever you are seeing out there is happening in here. Whatever you are seeing out there is happening inside your head. Whatever you are seeing, you are making up. It's, it's, it's your reality. Now you can say, well, am I in someone's dream or are they in my dream? You can get real technical like that. I like, I like when people get technical like that. Well, whose dream am I in? Are you in my dream or are, are, I'm, are or am I in your dream? You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're all experiencing something that when you go within, we have created. We have created. So that's why being gentle. That's why being kind. That's why do it unto others. That's why love your neighbor as you, as you love. That's why all those the, the, those people, the, the sages and, 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 and the shamans and, and those people that came and walked through the earth and knew they would leave those tidbits. They knew what they were saying. They knew what they were saying. Love yourself. And if you love yourself, you're going to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Be kind one to another. Be kind. Sound of freedom. Sound of freedom. Yeah, I think you should watch it. I think you should watch it because a lot of you think that um, slavery has ended and a lot of you think that a lot of you think that sound of freedom Sherry Veronica